Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Chef Max here, back at Chef Max Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in last week. Uh, this week we're just doing something real fun, something that's true and near to dear to my heart, something I eat all the time. Um, and if, if you've been to any of the restaurants, you know this is like one of the staples of the restaurant. My mom's from the Bahamas, um, so we do a lot of Bahamian, um, Caribbean influence, and um, in, in my cooking, um, but then also as my family, um, when they get together and, they, and they're doing anything, barbecues, birthday parties, etc. Jerk chicken is somewhere always on the menu. Um, jerk pork, jerk fish, jerk something is always on the menu. Um, so today we're going to just do some real fun jerk chicken. Uh, I'm going to use bone-in chicken breasts. Um, and I leave the bone in for the flavor. Um, typically, um, I let it try to marinate for at least 10 hours. Um, so we have some in the fridge that's marinating right now that we're gonna put on the grill. Um, but then we also have some, some okra, right? Okra is like one of my faves. It's uh, some people like, I don't like okra, it's mushy and it's slimy, but we're gonna grill it today, all right? And so it's just a great addition to all your grilled vegetables. So we have okra, we have a little peppers, right? There's yellow and red peppers. We have a little tomato, we have a little red onion, right? So I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna marinate that really quick, simple marinade, um, using a little olive oil and a little vinegar. Um, and we're gonna just have a little fun with that. And we're gonna put all that on the grill and just have a little smorgasbord of grilled uh, veggies and jerk chicken. Um, and you can serve that with your favorite salad, your favorite drink of choice. Um, typically, I like to do apple ciders, I like to do uh, just different uh, rosés on the summer. Um, so these are all real fun recipes you can do while you're outside grilling during the summertime and spring and summer. Um, but for me, I eat it year round. I grill year round, so uh, I'm not the, the greatest uh, judge of character when it comes to grilling, because I just grill in the winter. Um, but no, we have a little fun with it real quick. So you have your veggies, and you're simply gonna add all your veggies in at one time, right? So I got my peppers going in, I got red onion going in, and I'm a big fan of tomatoes as well. So I'm gonna take some tomatoes, and I leave them like quartered, right? So when, they, when they're roasting on the grill, grilling, um, they keep their shape. So I'll add all that in. All right, so I have all that in. I'm just gonna add a little simple olive oil. Extra virgin is not needed. Regular olive oil, a blend is cool. Um, being that you're grilling and it's not a finishing oil, you don't have to use the extra virgin. And I'm gonna go a little vinegar. All right, the vinegar for the acidity. And then you have so much bright flavors in your vegetables, you don't really need anything that's very overpowering. So apple cider is a little too much. So I use a red wine. Um, you can use apple cider either or. Um, then I got a little salt going in. Sea salt, never table salt. I'm trying to live a long time. Black pepper. And then a little Chef Max Spice blend, right? So this is the Mexican one. Um, it's good for grilling. It's good for uh, roasting, but I love it for grilling. All right, that's gonna go in. I'm gonna get that nice toss, all right? If you're not a chef, then don't try this, but um, you've perfected enough times you could, all right? So I got that tossed nicely. And I'm gonna just kinda let that go. You can do this overnight too, so get all the flavors and love in there. You can do that um, overnight. And I'm gonna go a little jerk, right? So typically you can make jerk, and people ask, what, what is jerk, right? So jerk is just a, it, traditionally it was a preservative. Way back when, um, in Jamaica, they used it to preserve the meats because they didn't have refrigeration. So kind of like, you know, people say, well, kimchi. Well, kimchi was something that was made because it was something that they made in the summertime, put it in the ground, um, and in the wintertime, they took it out and they had dinner, right? Um, and so it fermenting over the years, over the months or years, um, typically it went for a few months. So jerk is kind of the same thing. Um, it's nothing but a bunch of spices and herbs, right? So it's all, it's all spice. It's um, you put a little cumin in there, a little cinnamon, a little olive oil. Scotch bonnet is the main component for the spice. Um, you have a little thyme, you have some oregano in there, you have a little brown sugar, a little soy, um, and then you have a little browning seasoning um, or blackening seasoning um, for the color. And then you just let that go and marinate all that and, and, and roast all that um, and blend it. And then you just have your Jamaican jerk paste. Um, but if, you, if you're not in the mood to make it, you can just buy it at your local market. If you have a Caribbean market, you can definitely find it there, right? So, but I said, we had to like, let it marinate for a while and get all the spices and love in there. 
So I have some in the fridge that's marinating. Um, this is gonna go back in the fridge and we'll let that marinate for 10 hours. Um, the one we have there, we're gonna go down to the grill and grill it and have a little fun. So we have our, our jerk chicken. You can substitute that with ribs, you can start it with to salmon, you can set um, shrimp, you can jerk any any kind of protein. Um, but we're gonna go with a little chicken today. And then we have some just cool vegetables, you know, and we just tossed around in the quick little marinade. Um, so I'll meet y'all down at the grill. What's up? Welcome back. We're downstairs in my garden, courtyard if you call it. Um, and we just got the grill going now, right? So I like to use charcoal. Um, you can use a propane grill if you want, but charcoal is always best. So we have that going, the grill's nice and hot. When you see the smoke starting to turn, that chalky gray um, is where you, where you want to be. So I'm gonna start with our grilled chicken first. That's going on. All right. Let that do its thing. And I'm putting it away from the fire, the hottest part of the fire. Just because this is an open uh, grill, there's no top on it, this is the chimney for it. So I kind of move it away from the hottest part of it. And I just kind of let that go. All right, you're gonna let that uh, roast off and grill off for about, um, somewhere about 30 minutes or so. Um, you're gonna add a little more of that jerk seasoning on top. And then kind of just let that seep through. All right, just let it roll. And then about 15 minutes in, um, I'll add our vegetables. When, when it's chicken breast, it cooks pretty quick. So once the chicken gets halfway done, then I'll add our veggies in um, and then grill those as well and get those nice and make love in the pan like that. Stay tuned. All right guys, our chicken is halfway done now. Uh, we, let it, we let it grill for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so we're good to go with that. And so while it's halfway done, I just wanna add my veggies in, right? So our veggies have been marinating. We just wanna get those nice. All right, you see them in there? I just want to pour those over. Got those in there. All right, so you got those getting fire roasted. All right, so I just want to get the nice char on them. I don't want them to go too crazy. I just want a nice char. So wherever your heart part of the grill is at, that's where you want to put them at. those charring up nice. Get those nice fire roasted. And grilled veggies is always fun. It's just a good recipe to do. Um, man, especially on the weekend, just kicking back outside, just having a little fun. Summertime, springtime, always great to have some grilled veggies. And the okra is something that's a little different. See if we don't have the okra you know, on the grill. So this is something that's fun and different. So we got those rolling. So I'm gonna take my chicken, I'm gonna start my presentation. All right, we got that going nice. I'll start building the veggies up. All right, got that going. That. You might lose some through the grates, you know, depending on who you're grilling. So, but you can add a um, another strainer or. Uh, perforated pan, you know, the gray vegetables. They sell those at a lot of the Home Depots and some of those stores you know, where you don't have to lose any veggies. So you have it. I grow chicken, grow veggies, very simple, easy. Or jerk chicken and some nice veggies, summer vegetables. When you go to the market, you just find whatever's fresh and you can really grill whatever's fresh out there. So again, cool recipe. Thanks for joining in. Little jerk chicken, little grilled vegetables for the summer spring. Have some fun. Pour your cocktail and enjoy or have a beer. Um, a little spicy, you might wanna have a beer, but enjoy. Chef Max, thank you so much.